Adith Smallwood. Either Smallwood and husband. And Ted Smallwood being hurt in his stomach. Amen. Let's pray for them, Brother Tony. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we ask you just to touch each and every one of these requests today, Lord, that's called in, Lord. Lord, we know you know their needs, Lord. Lord, we ask you just to reach down and touch them, Lord. Comfort them in Jesus' mighty name, Lord. Let your will be done today, Lord, as it is in heaven, on earth, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. We're going to keep right on praying for these requests. Amen. Got about five more minutes. Amen. He says, And said, Behold, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. And they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears. They wanted none of what Stephen was saying. They didn't believe it. They wanted to stone him right there. Listen to what he says. Listen to how much that Stephen will forgive him. Listen to how much Stephen in his own heart forgive these people. And they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and ran upon him with one accord. Now that's meaning they ran, every one of them ran down to him. It didn't leave none of them out. All of them were standing there, ran to him. And cast him out of the city and stoned him. Amen. Let me tell you something. This guy was looking death square in the face. And he still, he still cried out for God. He still loved God. And he was stirring death in the face. And he still forgive him. Listen, I ain't done yet. And witnesses laid down their clothes at the young man's feet whose name was Saul. Now, Saul was looking all over this, amen. Now, if you don't know who Saul was, Saul became Paul, one of the greatest evangelists ever he became. But at this time, he was watching all this go on. Saul wasn't a good man at this time. And they stoned Stephen, crying, Calling upon God. Now listen to what Stephen doing. Calling upon God and saying, Lord Christ, receive my spirit. He knowed he was going to die there to die that day. He knowed he was going to die. He was crying to God to receive his spirit. And I want you to listen to what his last words before he went out was said. And he kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, lay not this sin to their charge. Amen. Let me tell you something. That's forgiveness. When you're laying there on the ground and they're sitting there stoning you, you say, Lord, lay not this sin to their charge. He was forgiving them. Amen. He was forgiving them as they was throwing the stones. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. He didn't say he died. He said he fell asleep. Hey Amen. Let me tell you something. I believe with all my heart, he looked to the other side. And when he fell asleep, he was standing there with the Father. Let me tell you something today. God was on his feet. Jesus was there on his feet saying, that's one of mine. Now, I'm going to tell you, that's what he was saying. Let me tell you something. He was standing there beside the Father when Stephen was getting stoned. He knowed he was one of his. He knowed that Stephen loved him. I think about that song. We're getting ready to go off. But I think about that song Brother Bobby sings. You know, he was a lamb. He came into this life as a lamb. And he stood fast like a lion. And when he died, he rose again the king. Let me tell you something. God is good. He's good to us all the time, not just every now and then. No matter what. If you're out there listening today, 
I pray that each and every one of you have a good day. And I pray that each and every one of you got a blessing out of this. We'll be off here in just a few seconds. But let me tell you something. Till next time, I hope God, I wish with all my heart that he watches over each and everybody out there. I don't want nobody to go without a good blessing. Amen. I want everybody to go. If you're standing out there today and you ain't got Christ in your heart, let me tell you something. There's nothing like him. You'll never find nothing like him. Beer, alcohol, whatever you want, drugs, it's nothing that compares to Jesus Christ. He's the only one. He's the greatest. Amen. He's the greatest of all.